I just want to, uh, to um, thank uh, everyone here at MLSE and with the Raptors specifically. Uh, it's an amazing opportunity for myself and for my family. We are really looking forward to this, uh, to be Mississauga, to coach the 905 team. It's just tremendous. So uh, as we move forward into this, as we figure out the summer and our first game, uh, we are just uh, really thankful as a family um, and really thankful that for the time I've spent here, but also the connections we have between the two programs. What are you most looking forward to about this challenge that maybe you didn't get to experience as much in, in your previous role? Uh, I think the one is making real leadership decisions. Uh, I think when you're when you're the assistant coach, you can kind of like make suggestions, but to make the actual decision, that final decision that has consequence, for me is a challenge I really want to sort of grow in. So for me, that's the main uh, the main step there. Jenna, can you guys take us through the process? Was this on your radar of something that you knew was going to happen, or you're looking to make happen? Yeah, I think that uh, you know once once there's some change with with Coach Casey, everything sort of is up in the air to a certain extent. So you're not sure where you're going to land. Uh, when we hired Coach Nick, uh, that really sort of changed the game in terms of having someone who I know really well. And then it just became a discussion of what is the best step for me. Uh, and in discussion with with front office and with him, this is just such a great growth opportunity that projects my career forward. Uh, so to me, it was a no-brainer to take this on. How would you contrast your personality to uh, Stacks? <laughs> uh, if you, as most of you know Stack and some of you know me, it's a little bit different. Um, you know, I think our passion for the sport is the same. Our passion for development is the same. The way we message it might be just a tiny bit different. <laughs> you talked to Stack and uh, Jesse? About yes, I've talked to both of them. I think yeah. we you know, two great previous uh, coaches of the program. Uh, so I l I've learned a lot from them when they were uh, shared time on the bench with each of them as assistant coaches with the Raptors, uh, but then really picked their brains about what the 905 program is like and what their learning experiences were. They both are incredibly encouraging and saying, hey, this is really a good opportunity for you to grow as a coach to develop yourself, your, your leadership capacity. So they're really key factors on me making this decision. Have you been a head coach before? Uh, I've coached our summer league team. So that's sort of been my, my head coaching experience. Uh, and I've done you know camps and programs before. But this really is a, a, a step in, in a new direction. And I'm really excited for it. I think I have a ton of experience being the assistant coach, a ton of time working with players off the court. But being sort of the, at the head of the program to me is that great challenge, which really is why I want to do this. If, th if there's one thing you wanted to put as a staff, as a head coach, any team at any level, what would it be? Uh, I think it's that our players play with energy. I think I want them to have an energy when they play on the floor. They need to be active. They need to be diving for loose balls. They need to have active hands. To me, if they play with energy and effort, the rest of the stuff we can figure out over the course of the season. But that's the type of player I want to play for our team. Uh, you, you've seen the positive impact that the 905 could have firsthand on a lot of the Raptors players over the last few years, whether it be Norm or, or guys that have been down there. How, how much does that help? you going into this being able to say even to, to whoever it is mm -hmm. that you might have down there this year that it, it, it does pay off. Yeah, I think we, there's an amazing track record, right? I think that our 905 program is a great uh, example of what the G League can, can be about. If you look at our players, if you look at Fred and Pascal and, and the, the role they had on a G League championship team, mm -hmm. and then the role they had on our, on our team being the best bench in the NBA, like there's, there's amazing transfer. And I think for any of our young players now, that's the story that we sell, and that's the, 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 the message that it'd be great on our team so it can be great on the next team. Have you and Nick talked at all about things you might try out at Summer League or, or in the G League next year? Yeah, we've had really good conversations. I think that's one of the most exciting parts of this for me is that we have such a good working relationship. And I think there's going to be a, a real lockstep between the Raptors team and the 905 team in terms of what we're running offensively, how we're guarding defensively, but also just our vision. I think there'll be a, a, a connection between the coaching staffs uh, that is exciting. Uh, and I think we're going we're gonna to maybe even you know, bridge new territories in terms of the connectedness between our two teams. How do you characterize your coaching style, Jim? Uh, I think I'm someone who, who's, a, who's, who's people first. Um, I really listen to people. and want to get to know my players first. And then once I know them, I can sort of start to develop a coaching strategy around that person. I'm a trained teacher and an, ed and an educator. So for me, it's about uh, learning and the different ways that we all learn. And I think finding the right learning style for each of my players. And then give them passion, give them energy, and create a coaching staff that also has passion and energy. So each day they come to work, they feel an energy in the gym, and they want to work to get better. In terms of relating to the players, is it your own? Do you think your own path will help, or you kind of, you know, worked your way up the same way these G League guys are trying to do? I think so. I mm -hmm. think that the sense of, you know, where I've come from and not sort of being, 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 uh, you know, a former NBA player or someone who, who's sort of been given it all, but really worked from the bottom uh, to where I've been become now is the same path they're on. I think that for a G League player, when you come into our program, you're saying, hey, I'm here, but I want to get there, and that's the same for everyone in our organization. We all sort of have aspirations for where we want to go, uh, and I think that the, they can hopefully see a message and a journey that I've had that will inspire them as well and, and allow them to work hard each day. 
Mm -hmm. Nick talked a lot about being thinking outside the box and, and doing a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Did you, I mean, do you go into this expecting to be the guinea pig for a lot of those ideas? Like, it, is it going to start with you? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of experimental ground that we can sort of really broach. And I think there's some things we can maybe try in our team first before we bring it to the big team uh, and see, hey, does this work? You know, is there a chance that this can happen? I think we talk a lot about creativity and doing things differently. And this for sure is a chance to do that. It's, it's amazing that we have such a close relationship between the two teams, even in proximity and now in staff, that there's there, we can really work through that and we can make the changes too. So I think as we try something on the main team and it starts to work a bit, I can maybe take the next level and say, well, let's try that to see if that can take it even higher. And that'll be a really exciting part of uh, the journey through the season. You have a lot of different experiences. Which one would you highlight that's going to benefit you the most in this new role? Great question. I think that, um, I think initially is, is my summer league experience is the most practical one in terms of, you know, being a head coach, coaching players at this level uh, and working through them. And it's been two or three years of doing that in summer league. So that's the most practical one. But the more personal one, I think, is is my life experiences and some of the traveling that I've done. I've been really blessed to travel across the world and coach this, this great sport and work with lots of different kids from lots of different countries and communities. And that sort of... Uh, uh, working relationship and way that you find a way to navigate those people in different countries, I think will, will hopefully uh, be a good encouragement to me as I work with these guys.